Buonasera, <coughs> intanto sono, siamo tutti noi veramente onorati di poterla incontrare oggi. E, ha detto che avete diciamo, interrogato la popolazione sulla volontà di cambiare o meno la Costituzione con un, un ottimo risultato di un 80% di persone che vorrebbero emendarla. Questo è importantissimo secondo noi perché chiaramente senza lo stimolo poi della cittadinanza non si riesce a fare qualcosa di profondo. E, la mia domanda è, ritenete che ci sia una sensibilità eh, simile a quella che poi la la sua immagine nel mondo ha portato avanti in questi anni, dovuta probabilmente anche al suo passato e quindi c'è una, c'è una reale comprensione da parte della popolazione di qual è l'obiettivo finale, di quanto profonda debba essere, la, la, le, quanto profondo debba essere il cambiamento o no, perché un cambiamento profondo reale deve avere una consapevolezza culturale secondo noi e se la risposta fosse no, quali sono le azioni che pensate di fare per informare realmente su qual è la direzione giusta secondo voi quantomeno? Well, I just want to uh, make it clear that it's 80% of the people who took part in the meetings mm-hmm. who have said that they favor amendments, because I don't okay. want people to say that I am misleading you or any, anybody else. Um, with, with regard to how deeply they understand, I, we'll have to take them step by step. I have great faith in our people. Back in 1990, uh, they, it was said that our people understood nothing about democracy when we had the first, uh, first democratic elections in over, uh, over 25 years. They said that our people understood nothing about democracy and because suddenly we were from a one-party state, we changed the system where political parties were allowed to be registered legally. There were over 100 parties contesting the elections. And it was said that our people were so immature politically that the democratic vote would be dispersed and that the, the party supporting the military regime would win. Well, it didn't happen. Our people were far too sensible. They didn't waste their vote on small parties, even if they respected them. They voted for us, and which is why we won by a landslide. Of course, that meant that the, the military regime started putting us all in prison, but that's not the story. <laughs> uh, and then again, in uh, two, last year, when we decided to contest the by-elections. We boycotted the 2010 elections because of the regu- regulations that we couldn't accept. But they changed the regulations and we contested the by-elections. There again, there were those who thought that, uh, well, the government was very much of the opinion that it, it, the, my party had lost public support because we had been out of touch and uh, Most of our leaders have been in prison or under detention most of the time. But, and uh, there were also others who, who said that the Burmese people were not fit for democracy. Now, I objected to that. I said I didn't, I didn't accept that. And when we campaign, we campaign not just for the people to vote for us, but to try to make them understand why they should vote in the elections. Why it was not just a democratic right, but also the duty to vote in the elections. And we explained this very simply, and they got the message very quickly. We had a, a record turnout of about 70%. And of course, most of them voted for my party. <laughs> so I have, great, I have great faith in the common sense of our people. We, they won't learn about democracy all at once. We can take it stage by stage. Again, now that we are Before we contested the by-elections, it was almost forbidden to talk about amendments to the Constitution because the government was totally set against it. But we, for, we, it was our official election platform, amendments to the Constitution. Now the people have progressed to the point when so many of them understand what it's all about. They understand because they want to understand. And they will understand more about democracy because they want to understand. The, the struggle will never come to an end. Democracy is something that you have to nurture. It's not something that you can get perfect and finished as a product, ever. So we will go on. We'll catch up with it. Too. 